Laboratory Protection presents Rudy Valley. Your time for is my time for. With Slapsy Maxie Rosenblum, Gobina Wright Jr., Hiram Sherman, and Walter O'Keefe. There's no time like our time and no one like you. Do you remember Ponce de Leon? Fountain of you. He was just a silly so and so. Yes, the things they did just can't compare with the things that Rudy did. On the radio. Imagination is funny. It makes a cloudy day sunny. Makes a bee think of honey just as I think of you, imagination is crazy, your whole perspective becomes hazy, start you asking a daisy what to do, what to do, have you ever felt a gentle touch? And then a kiss, and then, and then, and then. Find it's only your imagination, and then, oh well. Imagination is silly. You go around willy nilly. For example, I go around wanting you. And yet I can't imagine that you want me to. Mr. Valley, Mr. Valley. Gee, I'm sorry I'm late. Maxie, I've been waiting an hour right here where I said I'd be at the fountain in Radio City. Why are you so late? Well, I was sitting in Central Park with, with my new girl. Gee, Mr. Valley, she's so sweet. She's just as sweet as, uh, as, a uh... Nectar? No, sir. I only held her hand. Uh, did you take your girl to the zoo? Nah. If they want her, they gotta come after her themselves. Maxie, you know that we have a late dinner date here at Radio City with Walter O'Keefe and Cobina Wright, Jr. Why didn't you bring your girl with you? Oh, she had to get back to the World's Fair. She works at the Aquacade. The Aquacade? What does she do there? Well, you know those 60 beautiful ravishing girls that come out and swim there? Yes. Well, when they're through, my girl mops up the pool. <laughs> All right, Maxie, forget about women. Now he tells me. Maxie, look, here comes Walter O'Keefe through the crowd. Gee, Rudy, you know, I'm awfully sorry I'm late, but it took me six hours to come down from my place in Connecticut. I had to stop to change the oil five times. Change the oil five times? Yeah, they're not building those roller skates the way they used to. <laughs> Walter, as a boxing enthusiast, you'll be happy to meet Slapsy Maxie Rosenberg. Why, certainly. How do you do, Maxie? I, uh, I've always admired you as a fighter. In fact, I've got an oil painting of you in the wall of my den. Is it a good oil painting of me? It's a very good oil painting, oil. Maxie, yes. <laughs> I'd say you look natural on the canvas. All right, so... <clears throat> All right, so I ain't so gorgeous. But you gotta admit I'm, I'm cute. Yes, you're cute. <laughs> Walter, I thought you were bringing Cabina Wright Jr. with you. Well, Cabina will be here any minute now, Rudy. She's very anxious to meet Slapsy Maxie. Gee, do you think she'll consider me a dopey character? Why should she be an exception? <laughs> Before you arrive, Walter, I promised to tell Maxie the story of the Fountain of Youth. Oh, you... What memories it brings back, Rudy. Ah, yes. I can remember when I was just 14, I, and I'd received my first suit with long pants. Really, Rudy? Yes, you see, my big brother outdrew the suit and gave it to me. Of course, it, uh, it was awfully baggy on me at the time. Certainly fits you well now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm serious, Walter. You know, I'd be interested in finding Ponce de Leon's Fountain of Youth because... I'd like to relive my own childhood. Yes. Just think. I was only five years old when I first showed signs of having singing ability. Well, kids outgrow everything. You know. <laughs> but, Mr. Valley, you still didn't explain the story of Ponce de Leon to me. That soft, swash, fucking seafarer. 
<laughs> oh, and if you, if you don't explain about it, uh, how can you dream about that you're him or something? Let me explain it to you, Slopsy Moxie. Look, Ruth. <laughs> It's, <laughs> it's a very simple story, Maxie. Now, look, Ponce de Leon loved a girl, see? But there was another fella. And the king, you see, now this other fella, I mean the first fella, not the king, he loved the girl, too. But the girl loved Ponce de Leon, see? Not the first fella who also loved the girl, but Ponce, who wasn't the king, because the king wanted to get young with the water. You understand? How long you been fighting, bud? <laughs> Buenos dias, Senor Cordosa. Figaro! Figaro! Oh, Figaro! Ponce de Leon, have you seen my husband, the barber of Seville? No, I haven't. Figaro, Figaro, Figaro! Oh, I wish I hadn't married that man. Why did you? I thought he was Lawrence Tibbet. <laughs> oh, there is Senorita Cabina now in the palace courtyard. Cabina! What do you want, Brenda? <laughs> Darling, I'm your sweetheart, Ponce de Leon. This is June, my darling, and I have a question to ask you that won't wait. A question that won't wait? Yes, my precious. I must have your answer before June has passed, for there are preparations for us to make. Oh, my fiery, impetuous lover. What is this question that must be answered before June has passed? Are we going to shoot firecrackers on the 4th of July? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how can you jest when you know that my heart is so heavy... Only this morning the king promised my hand in marriage to Count O'Keefe. Count O'Keefe? What can he offer you? Well, he has gold, silver, jewels, castles, ships, power, a title, and high position. Yes, but uh, haven't you heard? Heard what? O'Keefe doesn't have a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, what, what can we do? Already Count O'Keefe has set sail for America. And if he finds the Fountain of Youth, the king will force me to marry him. Yeah, we'll see about that. Come, let us repair to His Majesty's castle. I tell you, I'm an old man, Ponce de Leon, and I've got to find that Fountain of Youth before it's too late. Oh, but Your Majesty, you exaggerate. Yes, you aren't so old. Old? I'm getting so I creak in every joint. Pretty soon they won't let me in the joint. <laughs> Oh, but you are young in spirit, Your Majesty. You insist upon your court attendants being young. That's true. Now, you take the king's guard, for example. I've got the youngest guard of any king in the world. What's that? They're changing the guard. <laughs> your Majesty, I understand that you've commissioned Count Akifo to search for the Fountain of Youth. His reward, if he be successful, is Senorita Cobina's hand. Tell me, may I, too, search for the fountain on the same basis? You, Ponce de Leon, you wish to leave Spain and go to America? Si. You have lived in the American forest before? Si, si. Who with? Si, si, si. <laughs> All right, it is so decreed. If Count O'Keefe finds the fountain of youth first, he shall marry Cobina. If Ponce de Leon finds it first, he shall marry Cobina. I'll find the fountain and I'll bring back its gushing waters to you. Then I'll claim my sweetheart. I'll hug her and kiss her and embrace her. Hush with the mush till you bring me the gush. <laughs> oh, Ponce de Leon, my caballero. It grieves me to have you leave Spain, our beautiful Spain. Spain is not half so beautiful as you, Caramia. Give the blue of your eyes to the Spanish skies. Give the red in your lips to the Spanish wine. Give the pink in your cheeks to the Spanish flowers. Give the gold in your hair to the Spanish beach. Then Spain will be beautiful. Yeah, but won't I be a mess? <laughs> I must hasten to prepare for my journey. I go now. This, then, is adios. But remember, Ponce de Leon, I shall be waiting for your return. I may be gone a year. I'll be waiting at the dock. I may be gone two years. I'll be waiting at the dock. I may be gone 20 years. I'll be waiting... At the dock? No, the old lady's home. <laughs> adios, senorita. Adios. Me voy linda morena lejos de ti. El alma tiene una pena porque al partir temo que tú olvides nuestro amor. Hermosa flor, 
Mi alma cativaste con la fragancia de tu canto. Moon watching and waiting above. Soon it will be blessing our love. Adios. For happy endings I'll return dear to you. With a love true no more to bid you adieu. Has he gone? Yes, Your Majesty. And when Ponce de Leon finds the fountain of youth, then we'll be married. Ha, ha, ha! That's what you think. Why, what do you mean? If either one of them fellers finds that fountain of youth, I'll take a drink from it, get young, and then I'll marry you myself. Why, why, that, that's treachery. You're low, you're deceitful, you're disgraceful, petty, common, shameless, base, vile, degraded, mean and dishonorable. Oh, I wish I could think of a word to describe you. Try obnoxious. You're obnoxious. Yep, that's a dandy. <laughs> I'll warn Ponce de Leon, I'll warn him if I have to swim out to his ship. Oh, no, you won't go in the water. What makes you think I won't go in? You're a debutante, ain't you? Yes. I've seen hundreds of debutantes coming out, but ain't seen one yet that'd go in. <laughs> Unfortunately, Ponce de Leon sought his fountain of youth 400 years too early. Today, he would have found such fountains all over America. Soda fountains, ice cream stores. They are the fountains of youth with their refreshing, energy-restoring ice cream treats. This month, thousands of them are featuring a sensational new ice cream. Its name is Cherry Glow, created by Seal Test member companies as the cherry ice cream of the month for June. And here's Ford Bond to tell you about it. Folks, here's an ice cream that has everything. The tart, sweet flavor of big, juicy, tree-ripened cherries. The mellow smoothness of pure, thick cream. Pure cane sugar, plus other fine ingredients, all blended and frozen into an ice cream such as you've never tasted before. And just think, in a few minutes, you can be dipping into a big dishful, enjoying its tangy cherry flavor, munching on those big, whole cherries nestled in its creamy goodness. Cherry Glow is sold by Seal Test supervised ice cream dealers, and it's available only during June. Like Seal Test supervised milk, every step in its production is supervised for quality by men in white of the Seal Test laboratory system. So insist upon the genuine Cherry Glow ice cream. We'll tell you shortly where to buy it in your community. But now, on to the Florida Everglades, where we find Ponce de Leon and his trusty aide, El Maxo, in their search for the Fountain of Youth. El Maxo, I'm exhausted. For three days, we've been sloshing through these swampy Everglades, searching for the Fountain of Youth with nothing but heat, mud, and mosquitoes. Look out, boss. A big mosquito just landed on your cheek. My cheek? Did he get me? Have you got the mumps? No. Then he got you. <laughs> now, the tortures I endure for the love of Cabina. El Maxo, should I go on or should I turn back? I don't care, boss. It's immemorial to me. <laughs> Love and I'll fight for Cabina with my dying breath. There he is, Maxo. <laughs> hide, hide. Okay, boss. Uh -huh. There you are, O'Keefe. At last we can come face to face. Well, well, well. Ponce de Leon, imagine finding you here. I, I can't say this isn't a pleasure, but I will. There's a real coincidence finding you in Florida. What are you doing here? Me? Oh, I just came here to start to commune with nature to receive poetic inspiration from the trees. Give me of your bark, O oh birch tree. Give me of your boughs, O oh fir tree. Give me of your mop, O oh cedar. <laughs> stop, stop beating around the bush, O'Keefe. Oh what are you going to do down here in the Everglades? Oh, I don't know. I may go into business. May open up a toll bridge. <laughs> or a Swedish... Maybe a Swedish rooming house. Swedish rooming house? Yeah, I'll take in nothing but smorgasbord it. Well, suppose your visit here has anything to do with the fountain of youth. Uh, youth? Yes, don't tell me that you're not interested in youth. Oh, but of course, youth's a wonderful thing. No child should be without it. <laughs> oh, Keevy, I think you're holding back something from me. Now, just exactly what are you doing here in Florida? Oh, nothing. Just out for a stroll. Come, come, come. I know better than that. I understand that you're searching for the fountain of youth. Who, me? Yes, you. Not true. If you imply that I prevaricate, you're very uncouth. Who, me? Yes, you. Not true. Says you. Then what are you here on the shore for, if not to explore for the magical fountain of you? I'm here on a visit 
Just ask me why is it, and I'll tell you I came to call on my Aunt Minnie in the loop. I understand your heart is set to steal the girl I adore. Who, me? Yes, you. Not true. Says you, and I happen to know the one she's saving up her kisses for. Who, me? No, me. Not true. Says you. If it's the one she said I knew, and then they promised to be true, you may as well admit you're through. Says you. Yeah. Okay, Fo, let's lay our cards on the table. We're both after the fountain, Cabina. We're both after the same thing, isn't that right? Right. Well, tell me, how are you doing? Well, why don't you tell me, how are you doing? Listen, does Wilkie tell Dewey? <laughs> why don't you give up? You'll never find the fountain of youth. You're no explorer. No explorer. Listen, lad, I'll have you know that explorers run in my family. My father was the first man to come face to face with a man-eating gorilla. Did your father catch that gorilla? Explorers run in our family. <laughs> Why, you're laughable. You're laughable, explorer. You'll never find the fountain of youth. If you were standing under Niagara Falls beneath a broken umbrella, you couldn't discover a big drip. What? A big drip. You call me boss? <laughs> who is this uncouth varlet who calls you boss? He's El Maxo. He works for me. Oh, I see. Just one of the help. I'm no help. You, you said, said it, brother. <laughs> Quiet, Ponce de Leon. I ought to challenge you to a duel right now. We ought to strip to the waist. Take swords and daggers and fight it out to the cruel and bitter end. And I'd do it, too, if it weren't for one thing. And what's that? I'm yellow. <laughs> well, I got fountains to discover. I'll see you later, kids. Exit. <laughs> hey, boss. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. I got great news for you. I think I just discovered the fountain of youth. Follow me. The fountain of youth? I'll follow you with alacrity. Now, you better come along. Whoa. Ponce de Leon, Ponce de Leon. Corbina, darling, what are you doing here? I followed you all the way from Spain. I bring terrible news. Terrible news? What is it? Well, you see, honey lamb, it's this way. The king is going to marry me himself, sugar. He's going to drink the water and get young, sugar. He's going to throw away his cane, sugar. Fear not, my darling. There's nothing in the world now that can keep you from my arms. Remember, my dear, that night so many moons ago, when first I gave you my heart? Remember? How could I ever forget my preciosa? In a little Spanish town, was on a night like this. Stars were peek a booing down, twas on a night like this. I whispered, be true to me. Then she sighed, see, see, see. Skies were blue upon a golden night, a night like this. Many moons have passed away, but still you're in my heart. We made a promise and sealed it with a kiss In a little Spanish town was on a night like this On a night like this Now for a minute we're going to visit your hometown To tell you where to buy that sensational new treat Cherry Glow Ice Cream. Here we go to all of those communities where sealed test supervised ice cream and milk are sold. Ready? Okay, Rudy Valley. In New York City and suburbs, the sealed test supervised milk is Sheffield Farm. The ice cream is Hydrox. In Staten Island, the ice cream is Castles. In New Jersey, it's Castles and Moglia. Dealers carrying sealed test supervised ice cream are waiting to serve you genuine Cherry Glow. The sealed test supervised cherry ice cream for June. You'll be amazed how we've captured the real fruit flavor of red ripe cherries in this luscious ice cream. How we've embedded those big whole cherries in nearly every spoonful. It's only here for June, so serve it often. Remember, only Hydrox, Castles, and Moglia dealers have genuine seal test supervised cherry glow ice cream. Sheffield Farms Company suggests you try Select homogenized milk containing 400 added units of vitamin D. It's seal test supervised. Now back to Ponte de Leon and El Maxo as they stand awe-stricken before the Fountain of Youth. Maxie, 
I just thought of something. Maybe this isn't the fountain of youth. After all, we haven't tried the water. We don't know for certain. Two, Mr. Ponce de Leon. Two, two. Or, as we Spanish say, adios de tine de raison. <laughs> Grace, a... Wait, look. Wait, look. Here comes Mr. Count del Quifio. Count del Quifio? Count del Quifio. When he sees that I've discovered the fountain ahead of him, he'll be furious. Shh, quiet. Hello, Ponce. Hello, Kifo. What you got? Fountain. With you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Want a drink? No, thanks. Make you young. Like Maxie? Yeah. No, thanks. <laughs> oh, Kifo. Why? Mad? Yeah. Because you didn't find the fountain? Yeah. Why didn't you? I'm stupid. Like Maxie? No, thanks. O'Keefe. What? Florida's exciting. Yeah. What's that? Boom. Cannon. Real estate. What's that? Maxie's broken English. I'm just as juicy as California's. I'm just as juicy as California's. I'm just as juicy as California's. What's that? Florida oranges. You ask me. What's that? I don't know. <laughs> you ask me. What's that? I don't know either. <laughs> Say, uh, Ponce. Yeah? You're, uh, standing on something. What? Alley. Cat? Gator. <laughs> Biting? Yeah. Ouch. I'm thirsty. Help yourself, fountain. Too low. Bend over. What? Stoop. Like Maxie? No. Thanks. Oh! Sounds like voice. Girl. Cabina. Yeah, Kabina. Kabina! Hey, here I am, honey. Just a minute. You can't call my sweetheart, honey. Okay, come here, babe. <laughs> I have come to warn you the king has landed and is on his way through the swamp. Count Okifo, you haven't heard of the king's treachery. He intends to drink from the fountain of youth, become young again, and marry Kabina himself. Oh, double crosser, eh? Well, look, back where I come from, when one million double crossed another million, we tarred and feathered him. By the way, do you know anything that'll get this tar out of my hair? <laughs> Well, what are you going to do? The king will be here any moment. Kabina, my darling, come away with me to some distant aisle where we can be alone. Oh, don't be silly. You're never alone in the aisle. Somebody always comes in late and steps in your feet. <laughs> Besides, Kabina, you don't want to go with this Ponce de Leon. Look at the way he dresses. That's the same suit his father, Ponce Senior, wore. Oh, that's all right. It's a two-pound suit. <laughs> What's that? The king. The king? The king is in the swamp. He's here. He's here? With all his regal pomp. The king will claim me as his bride. But not while we are by your side. We'll spray him with insecticide. The king is in the swamp. I'm the king, the wicked king. I'm here to marry a sweet young thing. I may be old, my feet may totter, but give me a slug of that magical water. I'm the king. He's the king. Oh, Dr. Bosnick, he's the king. Shoot the water to me, John. Boy, yeah. <laughs> Your Majesty, here's a cup and a straw. Never mind the cup and straw, just hold my feet. Your Majesty, don't drink too much. I know what I'm doing. Your Majesty, be careful, that's the fountain of you. Your Majesty, say something, speak. <laughs> well, did you see that? The king has become a baby, he just changed. Sounds like he needs another change. <laughs> Kabina, my darling. 
Now we can go back to Spain and be married. Yes, my love. But what about Count O'Keefe? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm going to stay here and bottle this water from the Fountain of Youth. I already have one order from an actress who wants to live her youth over again. Who is she? Shirley Temple. <laughs> oh, but won't you be lonely here in the swamp? Oh, no, no, not indeed. After all, I, I, I shall have my swamp music. Chloe! Chloe! Did someone call me? <laughs> Look at that face. Here I am, kid, your little Chloe. <laughs> How do you like that? 10,000 baritones have been yelling for that dame, and she had to answer me. <laughs> And so it is with this thought in mind that we say farewell to Florida, land of the fountain of youth. Ponce de Leon, now we can have that castle in Spain that you promised me. Yes, Cobina, and it shall have spacious halls, high balconies, and a luxurious boudoir. And, darling, will there be a little extra room with little toys and teddy bears and dolls? Ah, I'm too old to play with those things. <laughs> Corvina, my darling, yours is not the first heart I've tried to capture. But believe me when I say it's the last. For this time, I'm playing for Keats. Love to me has always been a plaything, a come-what-may thing, an interlude. Suddenly it has become a great thing, and it won't wait thing. I'm in the mood. Its tremendous latitude has changed my attitude. I'm playing for keeps. I'm the sort of person who looks, then leaps, and I like you heaps. It's only fair to tell you I care. I'm playing for keeps. Love is a game like chemin de fer or roulette or sweeps or steeplechase leaps. Some play for fun, but I am the one Who's playing for keys? I'm out to win because your heart is at stake. The odds are high. It's quite a chance that I take. But if I should lose, I know my heart's bound to break. To win would be magic. To lose would be tragic. Playing for keeps. Knowing that the loser regrets and weeps and seldom sleeps. If it's no dice, then I'll pay the price. I'm playing for Dairy Month, and America is saluting an industry which supplies one quarter of our entire food supply, an industry which contributes mightily to the health and well-being of our people. Join in this tribute by drinking more milk, eating more ice cream and other dairy products, and be sure to look for the red and white seal test symbol when you buy. Until next Thursday, then, when Mary Jane Walsh and Milton Berle join us in our travesty on the life of that most famous of all railroad engineers, Casey Jones... This is Rudy Valley saying au revoir, seal test, and good night. Seal Test Incorporated and its member companies are subsidiaries of National Dairy Products Corporation. This is the National Broadcasting Company.